Hey, what's going on guys? PokeKid101 here. Welcome back to another Yokai Watch unboxing video. And today, we're going to be taking a look at Yokai Watch Dream Series 1, or Stage 1, if that's what you want to call it. Uh, yeah, I just got back from uh, Provincials, uh, uh, like a couple days ago. And uh, I did pretty well for 10-pin uh, bowling. So, uh... Yeah, before I get into this, if you guys enjoy these videos, make sure to leave a like, comment, and if you want to, subscribe, as I upload new videos regularly, and I really appreciate you guys doing so. It also shows me that you guys want me to do more of these unboxing videos for you. So, if you're wondering where I got this from, I got this from a place called Hobby Link Japan. Now, I am not sponsored by Hobby Link Japan, but they did give me permission to use their logo in this video. So yeah, if you ever wanted to order something from Japan but have not been able to, well, Hobby Link Japan has got your back. In case you've never heard of these guys, Hobby Link Japan is a Japanese-based company solely based in Japan that will ship any Japanese product going from Pokemon cards to any kind of Japanese snacks or drinks, and they'll ship it right to your front door, fast, easy, and no hassles. So yeah, I, I do trust these guys. They do a very good job shipping things off. And they do it very fast, which surprisingly I didn't expect this one to be delivered today, <laughs> but whatever. I will leave a link to their website in the description down below, so if you guys want to check them out, just go right on ahead. Alright, so, let's, oh, and I also received uh, this thing right here, <laughs> which is pretty cute. Hobby Link Japan's 20th anniversary celebration. Yeah, I like the design on it, so they sent it off with my with this item here. So yeah, before we get into this, let's take a look at the box itself. It's pretty it's very pink, so I don't think we'll be able to like I don't know if you guys can see it that well. But as you can see here we got Jabanyan, Komasan, Whisper, as usual. I'm also looking for a QB. Uh, they got the last Shogun Yan. They got Tom Yan. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. All right, so I accidentally pushed this in by mistake when I was trying to open it. So let's take a look. I really don't want to ruin the box, but uh, you know. Uh, well, it looks like I'm ruining the box anyway. I did it backwards. No idea how to open this box, but I think you just take the top off like this. You take the top off like like that, and I think you pull it from the sides right here. Yeah, I really don't want to ruin this, but uh, you know, sometimes these boxes actually force you to do so. And this is what it would look like. Take that off. Turn these around like this. And we'll take a look at the packs because the packs look amazingly good. Wow. So that's, and I think this is what it would look like if it was on store shelves. Like you pull them out like this and then take them up front. Now, fortunately, unfortunately, these only have one metal inside them. But let's take a look at the packs and I'm going to focus this in. Awesome. There we go. So yeah, I love the style of the packs. We got Nate right there, uh, Jabanyan, Whisper, Komasan. Uh, we got Venot on here, and this looks awesome. I, I really like the design on this. I don't have the watch to play these yet, but when I get it in, I'll uh, try and play some of the uh, musics here for you. And I gotta get the scissors because I like keeping, as you know, I like keeping like quite a few packs for myself. I don't want to cut off the Bandai logo because. Well, I like Bandai. Not sponsored. <laughs> Alright, what are we going to get in this one? Three, two, one. And we've got... Oh, and that's Draggy. Or Ryukun, as he's known in Japan. Nice. I like the design on the metal. He's carrying the ball on his back there. He's... Wait, bowling pins? He's going bowling? I guess that works. <laughs> 
Okay, I, it's kind of weird because I went bowling like uh, over the weekend, so that's pretty funny. And there's the QR code. Hold on, I'm going to. Uh, oh, never mind. You can. Hope you guys can see it. <laughs> that's pretty cool. All right. Number two. Okay, so. And we got. Oh. Komasan! He's got a big ice cream! <laughs> hey, Komasan! I love Komasan, he's so cool. And as you can see, these are different from the other metals, it's just uh, painted on there. I really, well, not painted on, it's a sticker. And I really like these. There's a little crown. On top. Excuse me. Yeah, excuse me, just had to sneeze. And then you have the, uh, Heartful Tribe symbol down there. There's his uh, QR code. And yes, I'm showing off the QR codes for these. Uh, maybe one more. I'll just cut from the bottom here. Alright, what are we going to get next? Three, two, one. And we got uh, the Bowling Draggy again, or Ryukun. Cool. There's the uh, QR code. So apparently, draggies, uh, yeah, they, for these ones, they're just kind of like uh, commons are more or less, well, holographic or something. But let's open it from the side, and I just took off Nate's face. <laughs> Alright, next three, two, one. And we, oh, I thought that was. <laughs> no, that is. That is. Uh, I know the name, hang on a sec. That is... Um... <laughs> I've almost forgot... i almost forgotten. Oh no, that's Tattletail. What is that? What does that say? Baku or Bapa? Baku or Bapa? I don't know. <laughs> but that looks so cool. I mean, it's yellow. It's pretty cool. There's the... QR code. Yeah, that's pretty cool. One thing I've also noticed about these packs is that they're small. So, three, two, one. And we've got... Mermaiden. Or that might be Mermother. I'm not sure. <laughs> but... Yorbrikuni. Yorbrikuni. I, think, I hope I pronounced that correctly. We got, a. Uh, I think that's Mount Fuji in the background. Yeah, that's really cool. The mermaid. I think that's mermaiden. I, I'm, I'm, I totally think that's mermaiden. And there's the QR code. All right. Yeah, I'm making a mess down there. So three, two, one, and we got. Oh, Blizzaria. <laughs> that's really cool. I like Blizzaria. Fubikuhami? Fubikuhami? I can't pronounce that correctly. I hope I did, but I don't think I pronounced it correctly. I don't have the watch to play these yet, but when I get it in, I will be... I will show it off to you guys. There's the QR code. Alright. Next up. Now, I want to get uh, QB in this set. Hopefully he's in here. Three, two, one. And, no, that's Badignan. And I think they call it Warbignan. That's really cool. Yeah, I like I like the design on the metal. It's pretty cool. <laughs> and there's the uh, QR code right there. All right, we got quite a lot of packs to go here. All right, so, next up. Three, two, one. And we got... They're not, or Orchi, Orchi, Orchi. Yeah, that's, I think that's how you pronounce it, Orchi. That's, uh, they're not, or they're not. I hope I said that right. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool metal. He's one of the yokai I'm after. That's cool. We got him, boys. We got him. Over there.
there. Alright. Alright, so that kind of screwed up there. Whatever. So, in this pack, what are we gonna get? Three, two, one, and oh ho ho! QB! QB! Alright, nice! And it says it right there in English. So that's really, really cool. I love the design of on this. I mean that is awesome. Got the clouds in the background. He's holding his fire up front. QB. Awesome. Sweet. That is so cool. That's a that is a cool looking metal. Flip it over. And there's the QR code. Alright, so. Let's see what we get in here. Ready up three, two, one. And we've got I think well it's called Kappa, but I think his name is Fua Kappa in North America. They just call him Kappa. Huh. That's cool. I like the design. Heartful Tribe. It looks like he's doing some alchemy there, or drinking or something. I don't know. And there's his uh, QR code. Yeah, most of them are just shinies that I've got. That's really cool. Next up. Three, two, one. And we have... Wait, whoa, okay, I know this is, this is cool, but I have no idea who this guy is. I'll try and see. I can't really tell who he is here. Yeah. Oh no, that's Cruncha. I think that looks like Cruncha. Yeah, yeah he just looks like the Brave Tribe. Yeah, he just looks like he's... Yeah. I had no idea who he was because he, he just he, he's in a different position. That's cool. He's slicing up some watermelon there. There's his uh, QR code. Yeah, that is pretty funny. That's another hollow. Goes into the hollow pile or rare pile, as I call it. Next up, three, two, one, and the same guy, Cruncha again. Okay, that works. I think that's Crutcha. I'm not sure. There's the QR code. I just want to see what the... says. Okanawakimai? Okanawakimai? I don't know. I can't pronounce it. Okay. Open up. Check it out. Three, two, one. And we have... Oh, so sorry! Sorry, sorry, I'm so sorry. And I think it's a itigagami. Itigagami. So sorry. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Is it the Heartful Tribe? I mean, not the Heartful Tribe. The Mysterious Tribe. There's his uh, QR code. Next, how many packs? Oh, we got quite a bit of packs left. Quite a lot. So, let's open up three, two, one, and we've got so sorry again, or itagami mian, or itagamian, itagami o n me. I can't pronounce that. <laughs> I am not very good with Japanese names at all. And there's a uh, this QR code. I have to say, I really like the Dream Medals. They look awesome. A little bit heavier than the uh, other medals, but overall, I think it's because they have a chip inside them that'll work with uh, Yokai Watch blast Blasters, or Busters, or Yokai Watch 3, which I do not have because I don't have a Japanese 3DS. <laughs> All right, three, two, one. And we got Lionheart, or Mano Jogashi. Mano Jogashi, I think that's his name. Lionheart. That's really cool. And there's the uh, QR code. Hope it's not too blurry for you guys. There we go. And I'll put him right here because I like I like Lionheart. All right. So three, two, one, and we got Lionheart again. Mono Jagashi. There's the uh, QR code. Alright, next up. 
and I'm leaving a real mess on my bed. So, three, two, one, and we've got Babylon. Yeah, he's speaking into a microphone, uh, babbling stuff out. <laughs> oh man, that would be loud at a like a concert or something. I think I think that's his. Uh, let's see if I can read it. Nag Nagabana Nagabana. That's uh, Babylon. There's his uh, QR code. Here's the uh, next bag. So, next up, three, two, one. And we got Nagabana again. There's his QR code. Got two bags left. So, next up, three, two, one. And we've got uh, Hano Kojoni. Can't pronounce that, but I think his name is uh, Picknose. He's been uh, introduced in a series in season two of Yokai Watch. <laughs> Alright. There's the uh, QR code. Last bag. What are we going to get in this? So, next up. Three, two, one. And we've got Nuku! Nuku Nuku! And apparently, in Japan, he's a rare. Or he's a secret rare. Yeah, that's really cool. And I think it's a Tat Tatsu Chi Noko. Tatsu. Oh, I think that's that's how you say it? Tatsu. Tatsu Chi. Tatsu Chi Noko. Huh. And that's really weird. But yeah, you can see all the flowers coming out, or like the... <laughs> it's supposed to bring good luck. And there's his QR code. Yeah, so, once again, guys, that's it. If you guys enjoy these videos, make sure to leave a like, comment, and if you want to, subscribe. Also, if you could, check out my gaming channel, GamerKid101, which I am currently playing through the game Prey. I will leave a link to my other channel in the description down below if you guys want to check it out. If you could, please leave a like and comments, and make sure to subscribe on that channel as well. And I'll see you in the next video.